right, hey guys, this is Tony Patton with Body Armor Vent. I'd like to thank you for watching our video today. Today I'm gonna to show you the proper installation of the BAV kit, which stands for Body Armor Vent, on a Ferro Concepts plate carrier and a Tactical Taylor backpack. With that being said, guys, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna have two versions of this. We got it, all this in a plastic bag or a carton box, all right? Which is your insulation kit, your Velcro, your bulb, and your two panels. All right, guys? All right, today we're gonna do it on the Ferro Concepts plate carrier. That being said, guys, you're gonna open your plate carrier up, get it all separated, get it all out of the way here, which we see we're doing here. Make sure there's no dust and dirt and grime on it, which we've already cleaned this and all that. All right. There's multiple ways to do it, guys. Uh, myself, I've tried all different versions of it. I've ran it, outline the whole panel, like basically outline the whole panel with Velcro and put it on there. But the easy and the best way is three strips. All right, guys, you got your three strips. You're basically going to run three strips. One, two, three. What I do, believe it or not, I set it on here. I come up here on the top where I want to go for with it. Measure it out. Take my scissors here. Cut the Velcro there. Run to the center one. I'm going to do the center one here. Same thing here. Now, a lot of guys on this one here, I, it seems a little closer to the uh, to the center one here, only for the fact that I've noticed that when installing this, where you hook your pump up at, is a uh, it's a little thicker area, a little harder right here. All right, guys. So when you want to do it, you just pull it up here. You can fold this to pump it up a little. It gives you that, if you have the Velcro on the side, it makes it stiffer a little harder. So now. What I do is I lay it here, guys, figure roughly where, it's, where I'm at, okay? I know where I've got my one here going. Same thing again, got our set here where we're at. I can actually stick it on there now like that. I can go, hey, look, look we're right here. I've seen guys take pencils and mark it with pencils or chalk. Now guys, you gotta remember when doing this, this is mesh, it's going on the mesh. Get it on there real good, let it sit, and don't go trying to rip it off right away, or because if you do, you're gonna rip the Velcro off with it. And guys, like I said, uh, make sure it's clean, dirt-free, grime. If you got any oil, any grease like that, use some Dawn dish soap in the sink, wash it up real good, and you will be good to go on this. And now you can take these same pieces here that you just took off. What I do is I'll just come in here, measure, cut. So guys, if you guys that haven't ever tried the the bad set yet it's essential you need this kit if you're going to do any type of plate carrier whether it's a real low, real world stuff or airsoft or just recreational for backpacking and all that the main thing is you know to keep your fatigue down and everything and the best way to do that is to stay cooler which this is what helps keep you cool it helps that core temperature stay down we've had up to 20 degree difference but the average is about a 12, probably 12 to 15. All right, guys, this is not written in stone. You don't have to do it this way. Do it whatever, whatever you guys like. I've done mine. I've had them come where it follows all the way around or three. This works the best and easiest. It's just this way. It's quick. It's fast. It leaves you extra Velcro for your other kits. Because remember, you don't have to have a kit for every plate carrier. One kit, if you have multiples, you just put the Velcro on and just move it over. It's simple, easy. We've done this out in the field at events. It works quick, fast. Let the, uh, let the Velcro sit on there and, as we call, cure or get stuck or nice and good. Because if not, you're going to rip it off and it's going to fly right off with the panel. I've seen guys, again, like I said, I'll go over and over again, repeat myself. I've seen guys take chalk to mark it, little pins, mark it where they want to put their, their Velcro and all that. All right, guys, see? Simple, easy. Want to take it off? I Right now, since I just did it, I'll put my hands on the Velcro. It is that simple, guys. That is the Ferro Concepts plate carrier. Done. Easy. Now, I guarantee when I wear it or whoever wears this, it's not going to overheat, not going to be fatigued because they've got their kit on, the BAV kit or body armor vent. All right, guys, you just see this finished up with the, the plate carrier. It's gone off the table. This is strictly on... 
the backpack. It's a tactical tailor. It was my son's when he was at the academy in Georgia. He said, I'll line it up where I want. Main thing is, again, guys, is that it's going to ride up high. The backpack rides up high. I don't have to worry about down low because air will get down there because it's flapping. So I got a rough area where I want it, how it's going to go on here. So I'll flip it over here like this. I will again, just like I did on the plate carrier, I'm going to put my three strips and cut them. And where I go is I go just off the, and I'll show it to you here in a second, I go just off the center near the top and then I go off the center and I go down here on the bottom by the pump itself. Right here guys. So I'm up here, I leave one set of holes up here so air can come into the top or be pushed out. I come right off the corner here, there, and then just above this, the pump where the valve is. Guys, remember, this is my version of doing it. This is also my buddy David's version, the way he likes to do it. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy. You don't have to do it this way, guys. You can do it any way you want. If you want to follow this all the way around with the Velcro, you got plenty of Velcro to do it. The nice thing about this is now I got this extra Velcro, I can do my backpack now and I can throw it on my backpack, which I do. Again, if you guys get it dirty, you know, hair, get it's your hair, your cat hairs, dog hairs, and all that, get all that off you can because that's just gonna get stuck behind your Velcro and you really don't want it back there. There you go, guys. It is on. Now I can pump it up. It only takes about five pumps, guys, because after the sixth one, it basically wants to throw it out. So as you'll note here, we stick it on here. I throw it on. I do my adjustments. And you can see it's right up here where it's touching right there. And down here and everything down here, when I sit down, that's just going to flop in the wind. So there you go, guys. All right, guys, thanks for watching us today. Here it is on the Tactical Scaler backpack and our Feral Concepts plate carrier, guys. Remember, this is our way of doing it. You guys do it the way you want to. We give you enough Velcro on there to do it the way you want to, guys. But this is what works for us. Guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, email us, call us. We'll help you out any way we can. Thanks, guys.